Um, okay, so I want to record my memory in my early years. Um, before my graduation from the um, academy, I already asked to um, take over um, junior choirs from the junior school of music. So um, I got a chance to work with little children um, around five years old to um, 13 years old. So um, a batch of uh, children and then uh, singing every weekend. So um, I found that it's so difficult for uh, young people like me to work with uh, children. At that time, I found this, um, okay, managing a rehearsal, um, to occupy them, and then they always got um, lots of uh, uh, funny ideas for me. And then um, I still remember one very, very um, important uh, stories about my um, career is uh, one night um, we were invited by um, uh, Hong Kong Philharmonic to perform a, really a big piece with the Philharmonic Choir and also um, under the conduct um, baton to perform um, a piece called Kamina Burana by Karl Orff. And then my children choir they need to um, sing with the um, orchestra and then um, in, in the second half of the performance. And then I try to uh, ask them to arrive uh, after the intermission so that I can uh, warm them up and then for the performance. And it's so poor because all the children, they are so excited about the performance. They come um, half an hour earlier and then during um, the, the arrival, they just so excited and then run here, run there. And then the green room is just outside um, the concert hall. It's so embarrassing. So they, uh, they, they got uh, lots of complaints uh, during the intermissions. And I find it is so embarrassing when I was um, um, there. And then I, I think, what I'm going to do with them? And then so I just um, think, OK, children, let's come together and then say, we must try our best to perform our best in the second half so that we can, um, can share with them we are really serious about our performance. And then right after the, um, the performance, um, the audience and then the conductor, they're so impressed by our performance because um, the children from APA, they're so talented, but they are so naughty during the first half of the concert. And then after that, I went back and then to uh, confess to my um, the Dean of Music and then share with them um, uh, about the uh, the events and then on also try to sit down and then write a, a letter of apology to, uh, to the conductor to share how we think that it's not so appropriate for the children uh, to run here run there and then produce not to disturb the audience and then also and um, I would like to say um, we're, we were really glad to have a chance to perform and then it's so amazing I think it's, it's a disaster for me because that is my graduation year if the newspaper come up with any any news about um, the critics about this performance, I don't think um, I can graduate. And then very happy after uh, two days and then I got the um, uh, letters from the um, conductors and then um, he was so amazing, so appreciate. And then he also say, um, for children, they need some space to play, but we don't have any place for them. So I, we can understand all this happen. So I think this is the first lesson I learned about I need to know how, need to know what, and then also need to know how to dealing with um, okay crisis like that. This is the first time I, I bring children to concert performance and then I always share this story with my uh, student here at, the, at U. I say do remember 